Well, it's another beautiful September day here in Mount Albert, Ontario, and uh, made the cut for the walls. So, fairly simple. Just uh, clamp the two uh, quarter inch pieces of plywood, clamp them together so that they would have the identical cut. And uh, what, what we did, we're doing this sim for as simple as possible just because it's the first build. And also for some cost issues, uh, keep it cheap where we can use angle iron um, for corners and stuff versus, uh, you know, kind of typical RV trim, which is pretty expensive. So anyway, all we're doing is we're doing a slight uh, slope down. So we cut four inches off uh, the end of the four by eight sheet of plywood and right down to the, to the four feet at the other end. And we left uh, actually less a half inch because we're, I'm gonna have the roof overlap the sides, just again for water purposes and structure. So uh, kind of excited, got two, uh, two walls cut now. So uh, tonight we'll probably start putting these together. Just a correction on the, I said there was quarter inch piece of plywood, it's half inch piece of plywood each one. And the reason we're doing the slope is uh, primarily just slight aerodynamics. You're not going to get much from four inches, but uh, primarily for uh, water to, uh, to roll off it. Well, it's the weekend and I finally get to work outside. It's a gorgeous day in Mount Albert. It's Saturday, September 23rd, and uh, it's about, uh, I don't know what time it is now, 10 o'clock. I'm trying to get going early, at least early in my world, because uh, it's supposed to hit with a humidex like 40 degrees today, which is crazy. But anyway, I got to roll the trailer out of the uh, garage, so I got lots of room to work. I've actually just bolted on uh, the front uh, front wall. haven't put the skin on it yet, but uh, that's, that's looking good. Now, what I've got down here, did most of this last night, is the frame for the... Uh, for the one wall so i've got it all glued together screwed together and i'm about to to glue and screw the the frame now to the uh, to plywood and you may look from the video it looks like it's um crooked uh, that's because this is on a slight angle as i described before for rain little aerodynamics got the window mapped in and uh, the next step will be to get that together and then uh, do the same for the other side and get the two walls up so uh, i got a big go put a big pit push on today we've got to go to a Normally we're not even home on the weekends, we go up north to our cottage, but uh, we've got a wedding function tonight, so we've had to stay in, which is good news, bad news. Uh, bad news, gorgeous day, and it should be on the lake. Good news is it lets me get some proper time to finish this thing off, because it's three weeks when we leave for our big trip around the southwest to go mountain biking and, and stuff, so uh, it doesn't, uh, it's got a long way to go, but uh, all the thought process has been done. A little bit of progress today. I was thinking earlier that uh, I said 40 degrees it's going to get up to today for my American friends. That's like 110 Fahrenheit. We're up in the Celsius up here in Canada. So no, it's not always snow. We don't live in, in igloos and uh, we, don't, we do more things than play hockey, but we do all those as well. Anyway, uh, I got the diamond plate on the front and I, uh, I put the bolts in down below, but I bought the bolts, the washers, the lock washers and for some stupid reason I forgot the nuts so I got to get those so just kind of hang in there with clamps put the, the the wall up and I cut the window out just that window just stuck in there right now so uh, it, uh, I, gotta, I just want to see how it looks and I've got the other wall yeah pretty much being built I was actually I, I put that wall up and I hadn't cut the window out um, that was stupid next time I'm gonna cut the window out before I put it up and I was just building this wall. I just was getting bored of building walls and the heat. So I uh, cut that out and I'm uh, really pleased with the way it looks. And that's kind of the way the inside's gonna look right now. So uh, happy with the way it's, the way it's going. Last segment for today. So where I picked up from the last one was, uh, had this side on with the window. And I've since put up the other side. Those windows just kind of stuck in there. I got to screw them in. We got to screw the walls in tighter, and that's what's looking like. Got three sides up, and tomorrow, uh, hopefully, we have a roof and some uh, aluminum on the outside, and uh, yeah, some of the inside's done. Well, it's another brutally hot day today, but we've been going at it all day. And uh, although it doesn't look like a lot's been done, there's a lot of stuff. So kind of bolted all of the, uh, the diamond plate along and we bolted all the, the walls together. So the, uh, you can see it coming down right, right there. There's all the bolts. So they're uh, three eighths inch bolts. We got four on each side, four across the front, 
This thing's really getting stable. Got the uh, cross pieces for the for the roof. Just a couple of pieces just laying there right now. I'm gonna start screwing them in, and we've got the um, floor all cleaned up. And there's about to uh, um, gonna cut some insulation, lay down for the subfloor. Top floor is already cut, so once that goes down, it'll be screwed down. And we'll be done with the floor, which would be awesome. And what else we got? We just got crap everywhere. Aluminum sheets, tools, uh, red driveway from back when I painted. No crap everywhere. Anyway, that's where we're at. <laughs>